Uh, good, yeah. I was lucky enough. Well, I, I wouldn't say lucky, but I was injured there for a nice period just before and after Christmas. So I kind of got a break then uh, from it all. But over the last months or weeks, it was very good, nice to get back. I was fresh, like, you know, and uh, it was good to get back on the pitch and winning wins. You've seen, uh, like I said, UL League club, now it's the 21s, a different kind of championship in that it's the old style, it's the knockout, you have to, you have to leave it all out there or there's no next week. Um, what, I suppose you look forward to that? Yeah, it, it, it brings that added bite to the, the game, you know, it's, you win, you're true, if you lose, you're gone, like, and I think that kind of adds all to the atmosphere of not just the game, but the whole championship, like, you know. And of course... You were probably one of the elder statesmen, having been there last year, won the title last year. Uh, how many lads from, from last year's panel are there, and what's it like, I suppose, being one of the older members of that team now? Um, there was there was five starting in anyway, but there's a right few subs there and stuff around, so we'd have a strong team again this year, and uh, it's, uh, it's good, like, it's, you know you have your experience, but like everyone's the same, they've all heard from Limerick at some stage, underage, you know, so they're not just relying on five or six guys, like, you know, or even a right good panel there, like, you know. And of course, we saw that last year with the, 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 the despite you know games against Galway against Cork when it was really put up to you, you, you never really panicked and you were able to pull through. Uh, those qualities, I suppose, are, are vital in any side, but the, the guys coming in should be able to pick up where the lads who've left uh, are, are left off. Yeah, I like to, of course, there's big uh, space to fill with all the big names gone from the Asher, like, but I think guys are just as capable of coming in, like, you know, as you said, and filling up that spot. And, like, they, I, I've no doubt like, they'll do the same job. Like, it's great to have that, that bit of fight and just to stick out them kind of games. Like, you know. And what's it like trying to juggle the under-21s, I suppose, with the senior and being involved in that as well? Is it tricky? Um, it can be difficult enough at times, like, but it's nice as well to get a get a break from the seniors at some stage, like, for the just say for the week now with twenty ones. It's nice to get a break and get back down to the guys you're all and and kind of catch up with them. So. And tell us, Claire, uh, next week, first game up against your close uh, close rivals. Uh, what are you expecting? Uh, I expect obviously expecting a tough game in it whenever you play Claire at any age, but. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a real tough game, especially in Ennis as well, you know, they, they'll have that added advantage, right? but like, all we can do is go out there and give her 100% and once we give that, I think we should get over the line. And of course, you beat some stellar counties on the way to last year, I think it was, it was like a who's who of, of the, the top counties in the country for hurling, uh, Galway, Cork, Tiff, uh, Clare uh, and Kilkenny, if I'm correct, you guys are going to have a target on your back this year as the, as the current reigning champions. Yeah, definitely, like, it's, like the year before, you would have been targeting the champions then to beat them like and it's, it's, it's much the same this year like everyone will want to beat the champions and relish playing the champions but I think we'll really look forward to that as well as being defending champions and we want to hang on to the trophy that can never go too easy like. and just obviously there's the senior championship as well and all the, I, I don't ever recall as much anticipation about a new format or about a, a Munster Championship as there's been this year. You know, there's a buzz around Limerick. People are really looking forward to it. They're delighted that they'll have four championship games in a month. As a player, it must be something you're really looking forward to as well. Yeah, I, I said from the start, like, I really was looking forward to the draw. As a player, you want to play as many championship games as you can. Like, and this is a perfect opportunity for this. Like, you know, four games nearly on the track and win two or three of those and you're on to the next day. So yeah, I really look forward to it.